All right, so we just installed Ultimaker Cura or the Cura slicing software. The next step is to create a dummy printer. And the reason why we want to create a dummy printer is because anytime we open up the Cura software, it will prompt us to have a default printer. So in this case, we're going to create a dummy one. Well, then after we create the dummy one, we'll add in our custom configuration or profile settings for the Sovo printer or whatever type of printer you have. So for the initial stage, we're going to head and click on the non-Ultimaker printer. Then you'll get a pop-up window, and this window says add a network printer. We're not doing a networked one, we're doing a non-networked one. So you can either close or collapse this right here, or click on the add a non-networked printer, and then collapse the Ultimaker BV, which is dropped down or opened up at the moment, and select custom, and keep it at custom FFF, printer, click next, leave it as is, and go ahead and click next. Um, go through this, click next. You can read on this information, it's good information. And go ahead and click finished. And now when you close it out, so I'll show you, if I close this out, and then I open up Cura back, or open it back open, it will not prompt me again. It'll just open up to my default printer.